This is the mother and daughter, daughter tag. tag. I know I, this has been quite popular on YouTube lately, and just to name a few people that have actually done these tags, Sappy. Brooklyn and Bailey did it, RCL Beauty 101 did it, Jenna Marbles did it, and Jasmine Brown did it. And Polytubers, two Polytubers did it that we know, is Aisha and Katrina. Yeah, I can't and, wait to see you. And Life with Cardi B. Oh, Life with Cardi B, yes. yes. So this has been a, quite a popular tag, and we were actually tagged to do it. So hey guys, here we go. Let's go. Yeah, that's the scariest thing for me, is not making it to the nine months. 
So the third question is, in your opinion, were all the things you heard about childbirth accurate or way off? Some were accurate and some were way off. I think everyone experiences a, a different childbirth. Some childbirths are very fast, um, very easy, and then for some they can be very long and slow and very painful. Yeah. So the fourth question is, what was the hardest thing about being a mum? Do you know what? Um, in all honesty, there was no hard thing about being a mum for me. Um, I think when you really, really want them and when you're really ready for them, it sh there should be no hardship. I mean, everyone's different. Answering on my own behalf with my children, the hardest thing about being a mum is... Providing? No. Look, you know, I, I believe that if you're bringing your children into the world, number one, you should be ready. And any hardship is not their fault. It would probably be our fault for bringing them in and not being ready and not being able to support them. But in saying that, there shouldn't be any hardship. You've got a supportive partner. Everything should fall hand in hand. And I know there's a lot of people out there that don't. But you know what, if you don't, and you are going through hardship, just remember that being a parent is actually a really hard thing because it's such a totally different lifestyle. I guess you won't really know until you become uh, a parent, which is definitely going to be a long, long time. Mm -hmm. I bloody better. <laughs> so the fifth question is, what has been the most rewarding thing about being with a uh, about being a mum? Ah, oh, this is a this is a beautiful question. Uh, but the most rewarding thing about being a mum is to be able to look into your own eyes. I don't know about you guys, but first thing in the morning when I see my girls, or even just the last thing at night when I see them, I just feel so blessed to know that, oh my gosh, they're, they're part of me. They're, they're part of Duva. And also, when I see them achieve goals at school, whether it be ward, you know, us being part of an assembly, or uh, your child just coming home and saying, hey mum, I got um, 10 out of um, 100 now. <laughs> I, I, I got 10 out of 10 for my spelling test. Anything that I see them really, really happy about, for me, is very rewarding. Because I know at the end of the day, they've really tried hard. To, um, to get those results and in order to, to try hard, you know, we've got to be there to support them, put away, you know, things like study time, practice time, for piano, etc. And, you know, not only are they rewarding for myself, but I can only imagine how rewarding it is for them because when they get rewards, I have to fill up their, um, their account. Oh yeah! So, you know, just little things like that. Next question is number six. What is the most best memory you have had involving me, Sapphire? Just me, not done. Okay. One of the bestest memories I had of Sapphire was when Sapphire was born. My pregnancy with Sapphire was actually a real hard one. Not not hard. Uh, there were a lot of complications along the road with my pregnancy, but I was told that Sapphire was going to be a very very sick baby. Down syndrome. <laughs> yeah, our poor child. And then I look at her now and I think to myself, she ain't no Down syndrome. <laughs> She's a beautiful Down syndrome. And even if she is, She's still my daughter and I still love her regardless. But like getting back to the question then, but uh, the most beautiful memory I had of you was, um, I still remember I was on the, the bed and uh, they were doing a cesarean myself because so far I was really small, <clears throat> 13 pound later. <laughs> All I could remember was hearing the nurses and the doctors behind the sheet they had just huffing and puffing and I felt like I was going side to side like this and all I could hear was 
<laughs> and all I heard the doctor say was, she's gonna be a really big girl. And you know what? I looked up and do that and I just felt tears fall on my face because we were honestly really prepared to have seen Sapphire differently. And when I saw her, that was the most beautiful memory I had of, of Sapphire. She was just this beautiful big girl that was ready to come out and ready to roll and she still is ready to roll. <laughs> That's one of the most beautiful memories I have of Sapphire. Uh, she was also a very sleepy baby. And then always to top it off, <laughs> on top of that, um, she was being very stubborn as a baby and she wouldn't feed. Oh, <laughs> we had to take her into the IC unit and you saw Primmy, 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 Primmy and this big chunker in the corner and that was my baby. <laughs> and um, we had to feed her through the tubes, but yeah, eye to eye, mother and daughter, that was the most beautiful memory I remember with both of my girls, but including Sapphire too. Believe it or not, out of me and Diamond, I weighed more. Yes. Diamond weighed like 10 or 11. She was 10, 10. And I weighed 14 or yeah. 13. Yeah. 14 pound actually. You were four weeks early. So we had a very, very big chunk out. <laughs> so hey, the most annoying thing about it though was I had the biggest baby in the Penn Hospital, 2000, the year 2007, the month of November. So I got a lot of, excuse me, can we see the biggest baby? I didn't mind it first. I did not mind it first. The fourth one was, hey, do you mind you being rude? Leave my chunker alone. <laughs> She's mine. <laughs> Question 12. Where would you like to see me in 10 years? Well, darling, in 10 years' time, I am going to be a wrinkled old bag. Um, but 10 years' time from now, you are going to be 22. Look at me. 21. 21. I just want you to be happy. I want you to be happy with your life. I just want you to try your best with everything you do. Mm -hmm. But most of all, I just want to support you with whatever decisions you have. Whether it be to... You want to be a pilot? Mm -hmm. Go for it, Bob. I do. You want to be a doctor or you want to be an air hostess? Mm -hmm. If that's going to get you around the world, do it. I'm here to support you. That's all I want to say. Question 13. How have you changed as a person since becoming a mum? Oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> so, <sighs> becoming a mum mm -hmm. has really, really tamed me down. If you knew me back in the days, I was a bit of a, a bit of a wild child. I was <laughs> very, um, me. I, I was very on the bully, but what that mean? naughty. I was very naughty. Becoming a mother has really tamed, um, I've got a whole new outlook on life. When I had the daughters, it was all about them. And then it was all about me being a, a role model for my children because you have to change in order to be a role model for your children. If you want your children to be kind people, then guess what? You have to be kind. You've got to be kind. Children, to be honest, you have to be honest. So, it has definitely changed my life. But the biggest thing about um, becoming a mum, one of the things that's definitely helped me give up um, was I used to drink a lot, so much. Being a mother actually helped me Quit now. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, like, I, I could never drink like the way I used to before. But, yeah. But she drinks, like, on special occasions, she only drinks a little bit of wine. Just a little bit of wine, just to get me a bit smiley and rosy <laughs> <laughs> and chirpy. <laughs> but yes, all I can say is it's definitely changed my life for the better. And I learn things every day, you know, from marriage, from becoming a mum, from my daughters, I take on board things that my mum has told me to, so I'm always there just soaking up little bits and pieces, but at the end of the day, you've got to be you, and you've got to, you know, be honest to yourself, hey man, these, why has it really changed you, and you know what, if it's going to help you change for the better, then thumbs up, if, um, if it hasn't, then um, let's go. <laughs> okay, 
the last question, number 14. Describe me in a single sentence. In one sentence. Okay. Sapphire. Is amazing. Oh. Sapphire is an amazing young girl with goals in life. It's really hard. <laughs> I don't just have one sentence. I actually have probably a paragraph. Well, I can write a book. I can but write okay, a let me do it again. Okay, so describe Sapphire in a sentence. Loving. Kind-hearted. Mysterious. Animal lover. Helper. Bestie. And I love her. More children, how much would you have? Oh dear. Me and I'd love to have more children. Yeah, and I want a, I want a, I want a baby brother or sister. Sapphire so always used to ask me this question. She always said, Mum, you know you can have more children. You just need to keep on drinking those tablets. <laughs> what tablets? <laughs> but I know, I know. Do you know, know what I mean? Yeah. I'd love to have six. Ew, stop. No, ew. What do you mean, ew? You want me to have another uh, baby? That's... I know! Okay. So, yeah. Hello, look at the girl with the bonus questions. So I'm having a bit of a heart attack. <laughs> sick! Oh, I thought you said S -E. <laughs> giving me these really wonderful hard questions but you know what in all honesty it's actually a really good reminder of just bringing you back to where it is where you were before where you were in the middle and where you are now with your motherhood journey so guys as you probably know I'm back okay I'm back okay Definitely keep my segments rolling. Sit down with Miss Bees. And please, if you'd like me to touch on a few subjects, yeah, comment down below. And you know what, guys? I'm not all serious, you know. I mean, I've had my cries on a few segments. But comment down below. Just something fresh and exciting, like, um, what colour knickers do you want to wear? Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. Um, or oh, do you wear any? <laughs> Anything, anything that you want to talk about. Yeah, if you need help with anything, like I say in my other segments, I ain't no psychiatrist, so I'm not a doctor, but I am a spee. I just like to put out my perspective if it helps anyone. If you're a mother and a daughter and you want to need help with anything in regards to questions or is there anything that we can help you with, hey, just comment down below. Just keep them rolling in, guys. But I just want to say, lastly, I've actually really missed being on YouTube, YouTube and I know my family have still been continuing without me, which is still a real blessing. Well, me you know, and Dad have. Yeah. You, um, Doobs and the girls, Doobs as well, who take so much time out vlogging, but yeah, he loves it. Mm -hmm. But there are just some times that now that I'm feeling a lot better with internally with myself. So guys, as you guys may already you know, if you haven't seen the video, this is the video I'm talking about. Make sure to go press it there to watch the video. We are having another... Giveaway! And the giveaway! Give it away! Give it away! And the giveaways are two iPhones. 